hello hello guys welcome to my channel i'm tori lynn let's blossom today You're probably wondering why I'm standing in front of this crazy messy closet and that's because I'm going to be organizing this closet. This is my closet and it's gotten to the point where I have so many clothes that I can't even hang up probably half of them. I don't have enough hangers and I just don't have enough space. I've run out of space, I've run out of hangers and I just, I need to get rid of clothes. I'm really, really bad at getting rid of stuff. When I go through my closet, I'm like, Oh, but I could start wearing that again. I might need that, but really honestly, do I need that? No. So today I'm going to organize this closet. Uh, as you can see, my top shelf here has got hats and purses and bags and stuff. Uh, this side over here is not too disorganized, a little bit. Uh, it needs to be restacked and stuff, but it's not too terribly disorganized. This side, however, it's a total mess. This side is a disaster. We've got our duffel bags, all my old purses and bags, and then a bunch of hats and stuff. So I'm going to organize that as well. But really my main goal of this whole video today is to go through all of my clothes and get rid of the stuff that doesn't fit me anymore. It's too big and the stuff that I just don't wear. Stuff that I've gone through my closet multiple times and left in there because I've convinced myself that I might wear it and I still haven't worn. Those things need to go because I buy new clothes and then don't get rid of stuff and I just keep accumulating more and more things and now I have so many clothes that I can't hang all of it. I have one little dresser that can't hold all my stuff and this one closet and it's just overflowing. I literally have this bed here that's just covered in clothes because it I, I, there's no place for it so I need to go through and get rid of stuff I've already gone through all the clothes on the bed that um, weren't hung up and I made a small pile right here next to me of stuff that's going to be donated then a big pile of things I am going to keep but the stuff on the bed is stuff that I wear the stuff that's in the closet is either clean stuff that I just washed and put away or stuff is out of season or stuff that I don't ever wear. So I did buy some baskets, went to Marshall's a couple days ago, and I bought a few baskets for the top shelf. I bought one for my hats and that kind of stuff, and I bought one for the purses and um, my duffel bags and that kind of stuff. And um, I might need another basket. Maybe I need one for purses and one for duffel bags and another one for hats. Uh, at this point, I'm not really sure what I need, but I just got two big baskets for now, so we'll kind of see how it all goes. But yeah, this is what I got. I got one. I'll show you a little more detail. So the first basket I got was this really cute uh, woven basket. I don't know, actually see what brand is it from. Handcrafted in Vietnam. Does not say the brand name, however. This basket was $12.99. Yeah, it was $12.99 at Marshall's. And then the other one is a little bit larger and it's a lot deeper. And this one is from Martha Stewart. It's got little handles on the sides. And I like the contrast of the neutral, natural colors of the woven basket and the nice creamy white colors. This one's not quite white. This is more of an off-white ivory color. And it's actually a little bit more beige down on the bottom, although it's not really picking up on camera. Yeah, so then I got this nice canvas bag uh, from Martha Stewart and it is wire lined and it could be collapsible if you want it to you could actually collapse it down But um, I don't think we'll need to and this was $12.99 as well So and the other reason I am wanting to organize this is because I have right now everything is organized by color So I have like whites blues greens yellows Oranges reds pinks blah 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 all the way down to blacks and I feel like having it set up like that all the colors kind of get like blended in together if that makes sense and it has been like this since we moved into this apartment almost five years ago so i think i'm going to try a different way of doing things i'm going to try putting like all t-shirts together all sweatshirts together all long sleeves together 
kind of do it more based on style versus color and I might do a little bit of color I don't know but I feel like when I just have all one color in I kind of like lose items in there you know I just scan over the whole thing I'm like eh, no, and I just I forget about items so I think doing it by like t-shirt I'll be able to find shirts be easier so I think I want to start by just going through and getting rid of all of the clothes that I do not need so I'm gonna go through and just start picking out the stuff that I know I'm not going to wear. And this time I'm not going to overthink it. If I haven't worn it in the last year, getting rid of it. If I haven't worn it since I've done this the last time, I'm getting rid of it. I'm not going to talk myself into keeping it. If I haven't worn it, I'm getting rid of it. Right? Hold myself accountable this time. Because what's the point of keeping it if I'm really not going to wear it? I know... I always think like, oh, well, and then I convince myself to keep it, and then it's still just hanging in here. Am I right? <laughs> so, all right, let's get started. I did it. I only had one shirt that I kind of contemplated and I think I'm going to hold on to it for one more fall season. If I wear it this fall, I'll keep it. If I don't wear it this fall, I'm going to throw it out then. I think it's a perfect fall color. I've only had this for probably two years. I don't know, maybe three years. I don't know that I wore it this last fall. But it is a really cute shirt, so I'm going to hold on to it one more fall season, see if I wear it. If not, then I will get rid of it. But I got rid of a lot of stuff. Literally, this stack comes up to my waist. I will show you guys the stack here in just a moment. But I do think I'm going to keep this shirt. So, now I guess the next step would be to take everything out and start to organize it based on style. Like t-shirts, long-sleeved, short-sleeved blouses, tank tops, um, that kind of stuff, winter jackets, sweatshirts. Kind of going to do it that way, I think. It's going to be the best, the best way for me to do it. That way I can see when I look through my closet and I'm like, okay, I kind of want to wear a t-shirt today. I can actually see my t-shirts versus trying to skim through and look for t-shirts and hope that I see them.
All right, so I now have it organized by style. Now, I guess the next step would be to organize the top shelf, which I'm not excited about. <laughs> I'm really not excited about that. First of all, trying to get everything off that top shelf is not gonna be fun without getting hit in the head and the face, which I'm not a fan of. I don't like getting hit in the face, <laughs> which is part of the reason I never liked sports growing up. <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna start taking everything down and then we will work on getting it organized in those baskets. Hopefully the two baskets will be enough. If not, I will have to go get another one, but we'll work with what we've got to start with. The shelf is all cleaned off now, except for this stuff over here. And I'm gonna leave that up there, except for I will have to get on a chair or something and just kind of reorganize it, restack it just a little bit. But for the most part, it's all stuff left over from my beauty school days. It's all my nail stuff. I believe that black box there is my hair clippers from beauty school. But other than that, everything else is like my nail stuff. And I'm just gonna leave that there. Like I said, I will just get on a chair at some point and kind of restack it but it's all pretty much just organized as is. I don't wanna leave it there. But let me show you what this bed looks like. It's a disaster between the clothes that I sorted through earlier and all that stuff I just pulled down and all my hangers. It's a mess. And the worst part is, is I have a friend coming over here in less than an hour to come and film another video with me and she's gotta come into this room and she's gonna be like, what the heck happened in here? <laughs> well, uh, it's a mess right now. We're in transition. Let me show you guys. So yeah, this is the bed. Under there, there's a bed, I promise, down in there. <laughs> it's so bad. So these clothes that I have stacked up, the part, a pile here on the bed and a pile on the floor because it kind of avalanched down on the ground. Those are the clothes I'm keeping. Some of it is pants and jeans and that kind of stuff, leggings and whatnot that will go into the dresser. And um, some of it is stuff that needs to be hung up. But I got this whole stack of hangers. That's all hangers of stuff that I'm getting rid of. And then this whole pile and everything right here on the floor is stuff that's now going to be getting rid of. This picture is also down there because I'm getting rid of that as well. So yeah, all of this stuff right here is all clothes that's going to be getting rid of going to the Goodwill. So over here, uh, I guess I'm going to start putting what I can into these baskets. I'm thinking, I didn't realize how many purses and hats and things I had, so I might need to go get another basket. I think what I need to do now is get another smaller basket to put a few extra things in right here. I think these two things need to go in a little basket, but overall it looks pretty good. I actually got all the hats and accessories in this basket. I put, I have a one wig from a Halloween costume. 
some belts, um, some like arm warmers and that kind of stuff. All of that fit in that basket. And surprisingly, somehow, I got all my bags in here, although I did donate a few. I got rid of a few that I just don't need. So I think I got everything put away other than just the clothes that are still laying on the bed, the ones that haven't been hung up yet. But let me walk you through how I set up all of my shirts real quick. Okay, so this is how I ended up doing it. So way over here, all the way on the left, I've got all of my dresses. Now I don't have very many dresses. I don't wear a lot of dresses. So I put dresses way over here on the left, just back in the corner, because I figured how often am I gonna need those? And I don't have a lot, so you know, just whatever dresses back there. And then next, just my few short sleeved blouses. I feel like they didn't belong with the t-shirts. So I thought they get their own little category. And I ended up only really having three of them, although this is the stuff that's still in my closet. I still have a bunch of stuff, but most of my short sleeve stuff are like t-shirts and stuff. That's what I wear the most. So, you know, just a small section of those. And then the next little section here are tank tops. Most of my tank tops are in my, oops, this one fell off its hanger. I wonder where it went. Or it was an empty hanger, one of the two, but I'm pretty sure this one just fell off its hanger. Most of my tank tops though belong in my dresser. These are like fancier tank tops. These are like over tank tops, ones that you wouldn't wear underneath something. These are actual like shirt tank tops. Next, I put all my t-shirts. So just, I have a ton of t-shirts and this ain't even, you know, all of them. So a decent amount of t-shirts there and then all of my long sleeve shirts. And I did long sleeve, kind of long sleeve t-shirts and long sleeve blouses. I feel like they could all go together because I don't have as many of those as I do t-shirts. And then the next one over is all of my sweaters, all my just regular sweaters, and I have a ton of sweaters. So this section might kind of bunch over onto the other side. I usually have my closet separated in the middle because that's where the little hook is. You can't slide your stuff all the way over. So you just have a separation between stuff here, but it might have to kind of flow over onto the other side because this side is pretty darn full because the next section after sweaters is cardigans and I have a lot of cardigans. I have a ton of cardigans as well. I think, let's see, all the way back to here, or I guess here technically, are cardigans. So yeah, a lot of cardigans. I love my cardigan sweaters. They're one of my favorite accessories during the fall and winter. And even in spring, because it's always not that warm too much, the summer is the only time I don't really wear cardigans. And then my next section is kind of like jackets, vests, that kind of stuff. Just overwear that I wouldn't call a winter coat. So, got all of those in here. Um, plaids, some um, denim jacket kind of things, vests, all of that. And then behind there are my sweatshirts. All of my active wear sweatshirt kind of things, crew necks, all that. And then behind that is my kimonos or shawls or whatever you call these things. I call them kimonos, but whatever you call them, that goes behind there. And then the very back in this corner are all my winter vests and jackets, like my heavy duty kind of stuff. That's what's back in this corner. So yeah, that's where everything kind of have it all separated out. So I will let you guys know in vlogs how this works out for me. So guys, there you have it. Thank you guys so much for coming along and cleaning out this closet with me. I'm so happy with how this turned out. I think it'll be way easier to find things when I'm looking for them now. Like I said, I just like everything kind of just like blended into one giant blob of color before. And now I'll actually be able to see individual styles and stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.